a welcome back to this week's video. As you can tell, it is another makeup video, but this time it is all about my go-to winter makeup look. And I've just been obsessed with wearing makeup at the minute. I mean, I've been into makeup for like years, but recently I've just had my like specific go-to looks and I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorites. And this is using loads of drugstore par products I can't speak and I'm only a few seconds into this video, excuse me. <laughs> but these are all super affordable products. I also want to make this video a little bit chatty so I can update you guys on what I'm feeling, what my favourite things are and stuff like that. So I hope you do enjoy it and if you want to see this look then carry on watching. So to start off I have already primed my face with the Sofa Glory One Heck of Block Shrink Block 12 Hour pore shrinking promo and this is like my absolute favorite my holy grail promo it's actually so much better than the likes of benefit and like maybelline and stuff and it's super affordable so i definitely recommend this for like making your makeup stay on and last longer and we're gonna go in with foundation and i love to use the revolution Conceal Define Full Coverage Foundation. I actually mix two shades now because I used to use F2 on its own, but I found that after a while I noticed it just looked too pale on me. So my face would look pale and pink, and then my neck would look a little bit darker. So I bought F5, which is definitely too dark on its own. So I mixed with F2, it literally creates like the perfect color. I mean, it's a little bit pink tinted but it's still the closest I can get to having my perfect colour and I love this formulation so I didn't want to like go to another brand so what I literally do I just put F2 in the back of my hand and then mix a little bit of F5, pop up my face and then blend it in. This is like my holy grail foundation now, it's literally amazing, it's like full coverage and it's just the best and it's cruelty free and vegan which is really really good so i've got quite a bit on the back of my hand now and then i'm gonna go in with the f5 which is definitely two gold but and then with my finger i literally just do it like that and then it creates the perfect shade get my sponge and then just blend it in And now that is blended together, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. So I'm just using the NYX Dark Circle Corrector and then going with the Revolution Super Size Conceal Conceal and Define in the C2 because I just love both formulations of the foundation and the concealer. I love how I said this is gonna be like a chatty video but I haven't actually done any chatting yet, so let's start. So I'm just gonna use my Wilder Powder from Glossier in a light medium, just to stay in place. I just wanna say thank you so much for like all the subscribers and like engagement I've had with my previous Lush video. That was amazing, so thank you guys so much because I never expected to get that many views. The last time I got that many these was a concept video, I think, like, I'm gonna say three years ago now, when I saw Marina at Playdom. So, to get that many views on a video that wasn't an artist concept video was, like, amazing. So, thank you guys. I really want to, like, generally push myself for this channel. So, I feel like every YouTuber says that when the new year comes. And they've had their, like reflection time they have had that break and they're like i really want to change up my channel but i generally do because i was looking at my channel the other day and i was looking at the kind of videos i used to do and the kind of videos i'm doing and i kind of miss doing like more evening routines and i want to do different kind of style videos like maybe tags instead of like q a's because i'm kind of getting a bit bored of that this is it my room will stay up for my under eyes and I definitely enjoy doing the book videos. I don't know if you guys enjoy that. Do let me know 
like if you do enjoy them. In fact, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see from me because that would be super super helpful because I don't know where I want to take this channel. I want to do maybe more weekly vlogs as well. I don't know if I'm going to do one next week because it's just working because I'm now back at work. It's going to be harder to schedule in more videos and stuff. But I really, really enjoy doing it and I'm looking for my contour. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically what I'm feeling at the moment. I'm feeling motivated to do more things, especially with like how much I enjoyed doing Vlogmas last year. I really want to do more vlogs and stuff like that. And I'm just going to start contouring and use my Revolution, another Revolution product. I know, Imagination Highlight to the Moon palette. And I'm going to use the middle shade for the contour which is Warrior, this one here, this is like the perfect contour shade and yeah, don't know what else to say about a contour shade. It's <laughs> gonna do a blush, I use these products all the time, they're literally my freaking go to. Now it's time for brows and these always take like two centuries to do so I will be back when these bad boys are done and Sacred Moy Arch Reading Rye Wow Wow is like my holy grail favourite. It's the only thing I've ever used since I started doing my brows. And it's just the only thing I've ever used. The only time where I will change my product is when they discontinue this. Which when that day comes, I will hold a riot in a boot store. And I am joking. Now that my bad eyebrows now look about average, it's time to go in back to the Imagination palette and give myself a bit of highlight. And I think I'm just gonna go for Angel Face, which is this sort of goldy yellow tone one here. And it's absolutely one of my favorites. And it's just really nice and stuff too, to be honest. And then I'm gonna mix Limited Edition, which is this one on the top which is more of a silvery like tone <laughs> now it is on to my favorite part eyeshadow because i love getting super creative and i will be using yet another revolution product but it is going to be the revolution serif x extra spice and like i said because this is like my go-to makeup at the moment I'm just going to be doing a really nice simple sort of neutral gold brown tone look which really goes well with the lipstick that I'm doing because I'd rather want something neutral in eyes so I could have like a super cool pop of colour on the lips. So I'll probably be using cookie dough all over my lid, chocolate orange, I think it's chocolate orange, yeah, all over the like outer corner and then cheesecake on the outer corner and then brownies on the like far outer corner. And then Dreams, which is a really pretty gold, like, shimmer on, like, the inner corner as, like, a cut crease. And I was just using my 17 concealer as the concealer to make a cut crease. <laughs> I don't know what else. Okay. So, let's get into doing that. And I will keep chatting. And I actually want to talk about my favourite YouTubers at the minute because even though I've been like drowning myself in watching Netflix shows, I've been really enjoying watching YouTube as well and I just got a few favourites I want to share with you guys and aside from the usual favourites like PewDiePie who's just hilarious and who I still call Senpai, I don't know if anyone else who's subscribed to him calls him Senpai but that's like an old school thing that he used to say now everything is about being nine year old <laughs> but I actually love him of course Zoella but she doesn't upload as much anymore because I think it's because of her like company A to Z and stuff like that Velvet Ghost obviously because Gabby is like a queen and she's amazing and I aspire to be like her and I just love her videos, her personality like honestly if I knew her in real life we'd, I'd want to be her best friend because she's literally just like me she just stays in all day and I love those stay at home vlogs because I feel like I can relate 
A YouTuber I really like is Jade Billington as well. She she kind of reminds me of Zoe. She comes across as really sweet, down to earth, and I just loved her Disney vlogs last year. And she does really, really nice laid back vlogs and her house just looks super cozy as well. I just absolutely love her personality. And like if I'm like having like a chilled evening, I will just literally sit and watch her videos. Like they are just amazing. Also, another YouTuber is Sophie Louise. She's amazing. She's so funny with like her first impressions and like doing like videos that aren't her personality. Like she's done like a makeup style that isn't her style, and she it's just hilarious. Uh, obviously, Sophie Does Nails is a favourite, which this is her palette, of course. She is absolutely amazing. I love her makeup videos and she just inspires me to get like creative with my makeup looks as well. Who else? Brandy Baker is a new person that I've discovered. She's very small, she's like my size channel, but she does really, really nice vlogs as well. She comes across as like really nice and I loved her like most recent vlogs so you guys should definitely check her out as well and this eyeshadow is getting everywhere I have no idea what I am doing with this eyeshadow I'm just kind of like blended it as I go along oh my god love Emily Jane she I think she's taking a break at the moment but she does really really cool videos about style like Lazy Earth, like if you love Lazy Earth like me, you'll love her videos as well. And I just absolutely love her personality as well. I just watch a lot of people just because I feel like they're quite similar to me as well. And this looks horrendous. I'm gonna have to tidy this up. Honestly, I do not get eyeshadow everywhere like this in real life, but when I turn the camera on, it's like a no <coughs> am I Shadow brush just went on the floor. One eternity later. I'm gonna put brownies on the outer corner. Just blend that in. And then like obvious ones, obviously, like Helen Anderson as well. I will just leave all my favourites in the description box below if you guys want to discover new YouTube channels, add your subscription box for 2019. And just shows in general that I absolutely love are Les Mis the BBC adaption that's amazing so far. They're actually keeping pretty close to the book like I said in my book you need to read in this year. Doctor Who was amazing, New Year's Eve, oh it wasn't New Year's Eve, it was a New Year's Day special that was pretty epic as well. I'm really bad at multitasking, I've literally just realised in a second because I'm trying to talk about TV shows and I keep stopping to do this and let me just finish this and I'll be back with you. <laughs> Actually stings but I still do it every single day but time to go in with dreams and it's gonna look so pretty. If you're looking for a really really good like affordable eyeshadow palette definitely recommend the So Revolution palettes because they are absolutely pigmented and so easy to blend and everything like you do not need to spend like £20,000 on a palette just to blend something in but I will say I am on the waiting list for that James Charles Morphe palette because I'm all down for experimenting with bright colours and I just want to own one Morphe palette in my life and that palette looks like my kind of palette so and then on the lower lash line I'm literally just going to repeat the steps of the top lash line and now I know what you're thinking, Fran, there is no inner highlight in this palette. That's because there isn't, and I will be using the other Imagination palette, but this time it is the eyeshadow palette, and I will be using Angel, which is this one here, and it's like the prettiest in a corner highlight shade I have ever seen in my life. Look at it, ain't that impressive. Of course, I need to tidy this mess up. And now to finish up the eyes, I'm going in with my Holy Grail Benefit Bad Girl Band because I absolutely love, not like spidery lashes, but lashes that you know are definitely there. And this does that effect without being clumsy. 
And to finish off this look, I will be going in with my purple colour, which is the Bleach London Washed Up Mermaid Liquid Lipstick. And you, I feel like you can't get this anymore because I went to Superdrug the other day to two in my local area and they got rid of the concession stand. But I did find it on the website, so I don't know if it's because they're redoing the stand or what, I don't know, or they're just going back online. But I got so many compliments when I wore this in my last video that I thought I'd tell you guys what it is and show it here in this video. And that is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was interesting to hear my opinions and thoughts and stuff. And yeah, this is a super easy, affordable drugstore look. And I absolutely love this. This is like my serious go-to at the minute. I just love pop to come out with something different in my life. So I'll give you guys a quick close-up. Just look how good the eyeshadow just blended as well. It's just so nice, I gotta say. I'm just obsessed with it. <laughs> ah. So give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and click the notification bell below to get updates when I next upload a video. And I will see you guys in next week for another video, which will hopefully be something different because I literally just discuss branching out to different things on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it and look forward to it. Okay, I will see you soon. Bye!